Let's talk about it. Listen, <laughs> I was watching uh, the Cam Newton's uh, interview with some lady. I think her name was um, Dr. Brian or something like that. And I was like jaw dropping, like flabbergasted, confused beyond belief. I, I what I saw was a first class lesson on high class niggerdom. See, one thing people need to understand in life is that money does not make the man. The man makes the money. So there's a lot of fools out there. There's a lot of dum dums. There's a lot of insecure baby uh, boys. That have like pockets loads of money. But they are not men. And poor women. I feel so bad for women in this circumstance. Because a lot of women think the pocketbooks is what makes the men. Your pocketbooks as a man is just a way to show your generosity and your values. That's all it is really. Because after a certain level of man. If you're truly a man. You get to a certain level in life where like you have the things you want. Like right now in my life. I'm relatively comfortable. I got a car. I got internet, I got computers, I got uh, a bed, uh, I got everything a man can really need to be happy, survive, and live peacefully. I don't really need more than what, what I got. Now, if I want a family, if I get a wife, I have a kids, I need to get more things because they require more resources. You need to get a house, you need a minivan, you need extra money to pay for soccer, tennis lessons, um, piano, ballet, whatever the hell you're going to pay for. You need to have enough money to go for vacations. You need more resources to be able to take your family, go do nice shit. But by yourself as a man, you're kind of an empty person if you're just buying a bunch of shit that you can't even use or need. Like I don't, like the guys that have like six or seven different cars, they're like collectibles. I'm like, why? What do you have six or seven cars for collectibles for? Just go buy some Hot Wheels. But besides the point, I digress. So anyway, Cam Newton was getting drilled by this lady. He said he desires to be married. Now, for you guys who don't know, Mr. Newton has eight children by three different women. And he's approximately, I don't know, 36, 37, somewhere around there, 38. He's, he's pushing pushing 40. So this, 40, this is a 40-year-old man talking about, I desire to be married with eight kids and three baby mamas. He's averaging 2.5 kids per baby mama. And Dr. Bryant, very calmly and, and very softly, very she, she really walked this 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 young man through. <laughs> and that's a shame to be called that man a 39 a young man. She walked this young man through and said, How do you desire to be married when you have shown that you are having kids? And creating multiple broken houses. Because you don't just have one baby mama. You have three. So you have three broken households. Three. And so you are looking for a fourth woman to bring in a union. And to create a whole family. How the fuck does that make sense? That's what she, that's essentially what she was trying to say. How in the f does that make sense? Because nigga, if you wanted to have a family, bro, you should have probably stopped that baby mama one. What the fuck are you talking about? You have three later, eight kids later. Three baby mamas and eight kids later. How does that make any logic? Welcome to the black community. This is how we live in the, the black community where we have multiple kids with multiple different women across multiple states. And we never learned the lesson of the first child. So Mr. Newton thinks that he is worthy enough because he makes some change and he has a status and he can throw a football and he, essentially because he can throw a football dress funny and he's big, tall, black nigga with nice teeth. He essentially believes that he is deemed a high value man who is worthy of a wife. Now, in this Mrs. Bryant, because once again, she's an attractive lady. I don't know how old she is, but clearly Cam Noonan found her attractive. She's a very attractive from when you can watch. She, in the nicest term, says... I would never marry you because when I look at your life, nothing about your life speaks of commitment, duty, responsibility, and responsibility. I mean, duty, responsibility, and commitment. Nothing about your life says anything like this is a stable man that will make a great father because there is no fucking way in hell that you can have three baby mamas and eight children and be a good father to all of them at the same time. And then not only that, you are planning to add me to the fold and then produce how many kids you want to produce with me. You are insane, my sir. You are insane. And the shit that you're saying is only going to work on dumb, dumb girls who have never uh, made it out of poverty. And no value systems. Because there's no way in the fucking world, like right now, 
if you line me up and you line Cam Newton up, I have better husband <laughs> prospects than Cam Newton. Most women would choose me. They look at my life and they look at it. You take it on the blackboard. You look at my wife. Zero kids. Zero. Uh, well, I got a fiance, but zero kids. <laughs> Not married technically. Getting married. Um, high earning career. In health. Decent credit. No felonies. Uh, pretty much overall solid. Look at Cam Newton. Three baby mamas. Eight children. We're not really sure how much money you can have because if you got eight kids, you got to feed and three baby mamas and your football playing career days are over. Unless you put that money in good use, chances are he is bleeding money. He's going broke. Calling him right now. Cam Newton is going broke. There is no way Cam Newton would be. It, it, if I can look at his uh, podcast by just listening to the young man, from what I can interpret, he's not too bright. So chances are that money's getting spent on dumb shit. Ah, uh, per se, his fucking clothing. He looks like Willy Wonka. He looks like a like an urban Willy Wonka. That's what I would call it. That's his flavor. So I look at Count Newton, and everything about him reeks of low value, low self esteem. The only thing that he that only accolade that he has in his repertoire is that he was a big ass black dude who was good at throwing a football. That's about it. He he was good at throwing a football. And because he was good at throwing the football for a certain amount of years, he was able to make a lot of money. Lord knows that money is still there because, once again, three baby mamas and eight children will eat through your funds faster than normal. Hell, one mom, one baby mama and five kids will eat through your fucking uh, money pretty fast. So I don't know how he's managing with eight. Pray for that boy. But anyway, what he... He had to like he was arguing with this woman on every point, saying like I'm I'm a committed man. I'm looking to have a good wholesome household, and the lady's trying to say like, look, sir, fix the current households you got. You have three baby moms and eight children. What the fuck are you talking about? Looking to get married with the right bro? You are a problem. You are a menace to society. You are like a young boy. You should be in jail for being a hazard to society because you had a bunch of babies that ain't getting raised, and you are a huge ass dude. So you're genetically. You are producing these huge monster ass humans who have no discipline because you have no discipline. Because any man with three baby mamas and eight kids does not have discipline. So not only are you undisciplining these kids, you are also creating broken households where you repeat the cycle, which means more likely than not, your children will also repeat the same generational curses that you once had. And that's why the black community is in shambles because we got a lot of Cam Newtons walking around. We got a lot of guys who are out there creating broken families, not holding up their responsibilities, and still trying to go out there and date women who are open and available. And because they talk a good game, because most of these women have no direction, no uh, leadership, and no fathers in their house, or men of substance in their house to teach them right from wrong, they end up falling for this stupid-ass game. And see, this is the tragedy of our community because we don't have any leaders. Nobody stand up to say, look, Cam Newton needs to be put in jail because this shit's outrageous. This is outrageous. There's no way that a man should have eight kids and be walking free. Uh, eight children with three baby mamas. That is insane. The man, I, I, let me go look up real quick. I'm almost positive Cam Newton cannot be on the 40. He has to be about 30. Let's see, Cam. He is 35 years old. Cam Newton has eight kids by three baby mamas and is 35 years old. He is two years older than me. I could not imagine my life if I had. <laughs> I cannot imagine my life if I had eight baby mamas. I would lose it. I would lose it. <laughs> Our eight children. I will lose it. I will lose it. I will fucking lose it. 35 years old. This man is a full grown loser. Full grown loser. And don't let the hats and the football career and everything um, uh, get you misconfused. He's only a loser because he has not educated himself. He has not elevated. He is still probably the same guy he was at 16 years old. And that is one of the curses of the reality of like professional athleticism and um, entertainment. Is that the day that you become famous is the day that you stop growing. And Cam Newton, as far as I'm concerned, stopped growing at about 18 years old. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.